Tennessee Terrain using Geosync Z Tools. This is our workflow number one. Do a 500 foot buffer along Nolensville Pike outside of Nashville. We want to create terrain data as quickly as possible and take it over into our primary workflow, which is uh, AutoCAD, MicroStation, or some other uh, CAD application. So we're going to start with uh, Geosync Z Tools. And we've created a project. First thing we want to do is identify the corridor where we want data. And we're going to work in a corridor running from about here to, to here outside of uh, Nashville. We have a tool. Uh, we're going to create a 500 foot buffer. And I'm just going to zoom in here. We start at this intersection. And we just use the right click on our mouse. We're just going to delineate this. This is the area that we're interested in. It's about six miles. And we're just going to save this buffer. We'll call it the ones. Next thing we want to do is we want to get uh, we want to get the data, and I'm going to use uh, Tennessee DIM Download Index that has been built for GeoSync Z Tools. We'll pick our boundary, and then we'll get files. And this shows we have 18 tiles, but we can remove the course filter on this and filter a crossing window and see. So we've got this down to 11 tiles of data. Select those and then we'll download. The download is now complete. The next step will be to extract data from those tiles that we've just downloaded within the boundaries. We're going to pick our boundary. We'll select we need to browse to where our tiles have been downloaded. Get our files. And we're going to select these downloaded tiles. We want to create a new uh, DIM or GeoTIFF output. And we know the Tennessee data will support two and a half foot pixels. So we're going to um, go ahead and set that to two and a half. We got multiple tiles. We'd like to merge those into a single. Uh, single data set when we get done and we're ready to go. We need to make sure projection is set right and now we're processing. And this is going to clip the data out of the tiles within the buffer we created. Our processing is complete. Let's look at the results. browse to folder we have our results and we have our pike nolensville pike buffer we have two folders of output data one is a text file this text file has 5.2 million points in it and it's ready to go to inroads uh, directly to create terrain we can come back we also have clipped and we have a single uh, laz file and uh, DTM and we have one complete DTM now for that merge DTM for the entire area. Let's go ahead and look at how we could take these first. Let's go to QGIS and we can drag this DTM in and we'll see that we have now have this corridor Place and we can create contours very quickly from here. I'm going to set the projection because it was not set properly. 
and we now have contours all along this corridor, two foot contours uh, completed. From here, we would export, save as, and we can save this as an AutoCAD DXF file and directly take that into any workflow that supports AutoCAD DXF. These will be 3D polylines and they'll be ready to go for uh, terrain use. So let's also look at, um, we also have a, a new LAZ file and you may be using recap as part of your process uh, in Civil 3D and we can now grab this output and take it directly into recap. We'll import the files. Here's our output in uh, recap. Then be ready to go directly into AutoCAD. So in this case, we created uh, terrain data or downloaded and generated a terrain model for uh, use in AutoCAD, inroads, microstation, or QGIS for six miles of alignment outside of Nashville.